In this video, we'll be going over the surprisingly complex topic of undocking in EVE Online. Understanding undocking mechanics is pretty important for basically anybody, but if you're flying large ships or undocking from stations which are frequently camped by hostiles, you really need to understand all the mechanics in a fairly in-depth manner. Before I spend too much time talking about how to undock successfully from a station, I do want to point out that there is a session change timer that is in the upper left hand corner of your screen. This timer appears whenever you undock or change ships in space, jump through wormholes, take stargates, dock, and a variety of other things that I'm probably forgetting about. While this timer is active, you actually cannot do any action that would cause the timer to occur. So in other words, if you undock from a station, you won't be able to dock or change ships in space or anything like that until your timer expires. Next, it's important to understand that you receive, after undocking, a 30 second window of invulnerability. If during this time you do any action besides stopping your ship, this invulnerability will drop, but as long as you do nothing or only attempt to stop your ship, you will be untargetable for about half a minute. You can see here I'm trying to target my main account with an alt, and I'm unable to do so. On the other hand, if you attempt to do anything, and in this case I attempt to reapproach the station, your ship will immediately become targetable. It's worth reiterating that if you attempt to stop your ship and do nothing else, you'll maintain your invulnerability. This can be important when you're unsure of what you should do. You can undock from station, stop your ship, and if your station has the generous undocking radius, you can assess the situation, wait for your session change timer, and then redock successfully without ever being at risk of being attacked. Each station in EVE has its own docking radius and its own undock point. On some stations, such as most Kaldari stations, the undock point is very far away from the edge of the docking radius. This means you have ample time to wait out your sessions timer and assess the situation before determining what you need to do. And you'll oftentimes be within the docking radius once the invulnerability on your ship drops. Other stations, however, have a very short distance between the undocking radius edge and the undocking point on the actual station. Some stations, the two are so close that as soon as you undock, you're outside the docking radius. If you suspect that you'll be docking at a camp station, it's important to understand the geometry of the station before you dock. For instance, the GETA 44 undock is very generous, whereas the Amara undock allows very little room for error. When you undock from a station, you'll actually be ejected at a speed well above your ship's actual top speed. For instance, this Orca is traveling at over 100 meters a second, in spite of its top speed being only 75 meters a second. This is important because one of the conditions for your ship to warp is that it must be going at least three quarters of its top speed. So in this case, if I were to have a bookmark directly in line with the direction I was traveling, then I would be able to immediately warp to it. On the other hand, if I wanted to warp in a direction on some other vector, I would take quite a while for my orca to align to this new vector. It's also worth noting that when you undock from a station, your undocking vector is randomized slightly. So in this instance, I've created a number of bookmarks. Um, several of them are along the random undocking vector that I was given, along with one which is directly out from the station undock, which I created by stopping my ship and then manually piloting. Each of these bookmarks is 30 kilometers from the actual undocking point on the station, and uh, using the law of cosines, you can actually determine the angle that you've been undocked at for each of your trial runs. In this case, I did, um, I think there's only three bookmarks at this point, but I went ahead and did one more run after this for a total of four runs, and in each case, my undocking angle was between 0 and 15 degrees and it did seem to vary uniformly along that range. I think that stations will undock you with a randomized angle of maybe 0 to 15 degrees. 
And because you undock at full speed, you're able to instantly warp to any object with which you may be naturally aligned. This means that your ship can move from its untargetable state to its in warp state immediately. This leaves you untargetable by any hostiles which may be camping the undock. An example of this can be seen in the Jita 44 undock if you use the Jita 41 moon. What most players will typically do, however, is they'll create a bookmark which is over 150 kilometers from the station's undock point in the direction of the undock point. These bookmarks are often called insta undocks. While technically the minimal distance for an insta undock is 150 kilometers, I would advise making them as far as you can possibly stand. The further away they are, the more likely you are to get a clean warp due to the fact that you undock at a random angle. It can be difficult to get into warp instantly if you get a bad roll when you undock. Additionally, the longer you wait to activate your insta undock bookmark, the more likely you are to be targetable. The fact that you undock at a random angle means that the further you drift away from the station undock, the longer it will take for your ship to align and enter warp. Because a lot of people get grid lag whenever they undock for the first time, it's advisable to either stop your ship immediately and redock if you're in a station with a generous undocking radius, or to undock in a heavier ship such as a battleship with Higgs anchor rigs in order to let grid load. Otherwise you may drift too far away from the station undock to redock and your angle may be too bad for you to insta undock. Since timing is so critical when undocking, I prefer to have my bookmark window open so that I can activate my insta undock bookmark as soon as possible after undocking. Finally, creating an insta undock bookmark is something that you mostly just have to eyeball. It's possible to get the actual stats on a station from the static data export and uh, do some math from there to determine how good your insta undock bookmark is, but I think that's really beyond the effort that most players want to put into creating an, an insta undock bookmark, and truthfully, eyeballing the, um, the undock vector yourself works pretty well in my experience. But you do need to make sure that you actually stop your ship and manually pilot along what you believe to be the station's actual undock vector, due to the fact that the vectors are randomized. So if you just undock and slow boat away at the random vector which you're ejected at, you may end up with a bookmark that's 15 degrees off of the station's actual undock. And uh, that can be really bad because if somebody gets a roll in the opposite direction, they'll actually be traveling 30 degrees away from the insta undock and will likely be killed if they're in a small ship. But anyways, the point is just to uh, test the undock bookmarks that you make thoroughly. And, um, you know, the actual distance, like as for suggestions on what the actual distance an undock bookmark should be from the actual station, uh, I would say as far as you can stand, there's a variety of different math problems you can set up to determine what makes a good insta undock bookmark, and they all support the idea that you should undock as soon as possible and your bookmark should be as far away from the station as possible. Um, the math involved can be simple, from simple geometry involving triangles to some more complicated related rates type stuff that involves calculus, so you can feel free to do that on your own, but I haven't spent too much time with it because ultimately there's really not much you can do about the situation, you know, understanding the mathematics behind it. Won't, won't actually help. You just need to hit the insta undock as soon as possible and have the bookmark as far away as possible. Um, for instance, in my current corporation, some of our insta undocks are over 10,000 kilometers away from the station undocks. Anyway, that's it for undocking, so thanks for watching, and uh, let me know if you have any further questions in the comments to this video, and I'll go ahead and address them there. Also, um, let me know if you have any uh, suggestions for other topics that I should discuss or any uh, criticisms for the points that I brought up in this video.